IMPD is giving more support to survivors of shootings and their families. Today I spoke with the advocate who is taking on the project and working to help bridge gaps after the violence. And when Dre was in the hospital, I remember saying, you know, God, show me purpose for so much pain. And here it is. DeAndre Dykus' son, DeAndre Knox, was just 13 when he was shot at a birthday party in 2014. He's paralyzed and unable to talk. And since his shooting, Dykus has been a voice for Dre and families like hers across the community. We average about uh, three non-fatal shootings a day. And IMPD felt there was something missing when it came to helping those involved in non-fatal shootings. Those individuals survive. And we have an opportunity to do something uh, with the next portions of their lives, so to speak. So they brought on Dykus, who will now work in the aggravated assault branch as the manager of non fatal victim advocacy and support. It's important that, you know, people that have that perspective. You know, they, they understand, they get it. It's essentially an extension of the work already being done by the Victim Assistance Unit, focusing on trauma-informed care. I think it's so important to meet people where they are. One thing Dykus wishes she had when her own son was shot was someone who understood what she was going through and reached out to help. It's so easy to get put on the back burner because you survived a shooting. She hopes to change this to help those like Amy Massang. Her daughter Mackenzie was shot in the back of the neck and paralyzed in 2018. She says even finding transportation was a huge challenge. We, um, of course, did not have transportation when she first came home. You know, now being able to be in this role to really be, you know, boots on the ground, supporting families and making that connection. Now, IMPD applied for this grant for the position through the Office of Public Health and Safety with the funds coming from the American Rescue Plan. The city has invested $650,000 into the initiative between staffing and equipment for the next three years. After that, the department will make a decision on the position moving forward.